Karen asks a very difficult question. Karen asks, my father was recently diagnosed with cancer for the second time. It is stage four liver cancer. What are your thoughts on dying with dignity and assisted suicide? I hate to see my father suffer. Can you explain to me what the Bible says? And is this the same as committing suicide? Well, first of all, Karen, I'm so sorry that you and your father are going through this. I'm, I prayed for you today. The second um, thing I want to say is, is just I want to give you a short answer because I could go on and on about this. The short answer to your question is this. Assisted suicide is still suicide. And I don't see any place in the Bible where we are given the liberty to take our own life. In Job chapter 1, verse 21, the Bible summarizes God's exclusive right to end our lives when it says, the Lord gave and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Now there are instances of suicide recorded in scripture. For example, in 1 Samuel uh, chapter 31, verses four and five, it says, then Saul said to his armor bearer, draw your sword and pierce me through with it. Otherwise these uncircumcised will come and pierce me through and make sport of me. But his armor bearer would not for he was greatly afraid. So Saul took his sword and fell on it. Suicide is not obedience to God, but I do not believe that suicide cancels out the grace of God. So as you're going through this very sobering time, please understand that we must do everything we can to be obedient to God. But if there are people who are unable, then I do not believe that they cut off the love and the grace of God by the act that would be at one time outside of his obedience. That's just my personal reading of scripture. My, my um, um, understanding in my relationship with God. Um, but I would say this, don't take that chance.